The Amazon rainforest is an immense ecosystem, providing a habitat for creatures as weird and wonderful as the jaguar, the poison dart frog, and the Jesus lizard. But it's home to more than just the animals that prowl, swing, and slither through the trees. In the depths of the Amazon River, the largest river in the world, live creatures so amazing and so terrifying that they make Jaws look like a nice relaxing swim in the ocean. Black Cayman A black caiman is basically an alligator on steroids. They can grow up to 6 meters or 20 feet long, with bigger, heavier skulls than Nile crocodiles, and are the apex predator in the Amazonian waters. That means they are basically the kings of the river. They eat nearly anything they can get their teeth into, including piranhas, monkeys, perch, deer, and anaconda. Oh, and yes, they totally attack humans. In 2010, a biologist named Dee Snishimura was attacked by a caiman while cleaning a fish on her houseboat, and while she managed to fight it off, it took one of her legs with it. This particular caiman had been living under her houseboat for eight months, evidently waiting for the chance to strike. Green Anaconda Continuing with the theme of gigantic reptiles, the largest snake in the world makes its home in the Amazon, the anaconda. While reticulated pythons are actually longer, green anaconda are far heavier. The females, generally larger than the males, can reach 250 kilograms or 550 pounds, grow to 9 meters over 29 feet long, and reach 30 centimeters or 12 inches in diameter. They are not venomous, but instead use their immense muscular power to constrict and suffocate their prey, which includes capybara, deer, caiman, and even jaguars. Preferring shallower waters that allow them to stealthily sneak up on their prey, they tend to live in offshoots of the Amazon rather than the river itself. Diving Bell Spider The Diving Bell Spider is the only known spider in the world that lives entirely underwater. Like other arachnids, it must breathe air, but it provides its own supply by forming a bubble, which it holds by hairs on its legs and abdomen. The spiders must occasionally return to the surface to replenish their air supply, although some gas exchange happens across the surface of their bubbles, so they don't have to come up very often. The diving bell spider is found in northern and central Europe and parts of northern Asia. Unusual for spiders, the males are bigger than the females, perhaps because the males are more active hunters. The spiders can inflict a painful bite that is often accompanied by feverish symptoms. Those who are afraid of spiders may be disturbed to know they may not be safe from them, even in the water. Giant Catfish Divers work with a model European catfish in the Great Lake of Östersund in Sweden. Large catfish live in many rivers throughout the world, where they are important scavengers. The largest on record is the Mekong giant catfish, which has reached recorded sizes of up to 10 and a half feet and 660 pounds. Once distributed across several countries in Southeast Asia, the Mekong giant catfish is now critically endangered thanks to habitat disruption. Not much is known about the world's biggest freshwater fish, though conservation efforts are underway. The Mekong species can live to be more than 60 years old. Arapaima Arapaima, also known as Pararaku or Peshi, are giant carnivorous fish that live in the Amazon and surrounding lakes. Encased in armor scales, they think nothing of living in piranha-infested waters, and they are pretty effective predators themselves, feeding on fish and the occasional bird. Arapaima tend to stay close to the surface, because they need to breathe surface air in addition to taking in oxygen through their gills, and make a distinctive coughing sound when they emerge for air. They can reach 2.7 meters or 9 feet in length and weigh up to 90 kilograms or 200 pounds. These fish are so vicious that even their tongue has teeth.
bull sharks. While technically ocean-dwelling saltwater animals, bull sharks are quite at home in freshwater too. They have been found as far down the Amazon as Aikidos in Peru, almost 4,000 kilometers or 2,500 miles from the sea. They have special kidneys that can sense the change in salinity of the surrounding water and adapt accordingly. And you do not want to meet one of these in the river. It is common for them to reach 11 feet in length, and there have been reports of sharks weighing 690 pounds. Like many sharks, they have several rows of sharp triangular teeth and immensely powerful jaws with a bite force of 1,300 pounds. They're also quite partial to a bit of human, being one of the most frequent attackers of people. Combined with their habit of living near densely populated areas, this has led many experts to label them the most dangerous sharks in the world. Payara Anything with the name vampire fish should automatically be recognized as scary, and payara are no exception. They are absolutely ferocious predators, capable of devouring fish up to half their own body size. Given that they grow up to 4 feet long, this is no mean feat. A large part of their diet is made up of piranhas, which should give you some idea of how tough these fanged fiends can be. They get their name from the two tusks that sprout from their lower jaw, which can grow up to 6 inches long and which they use to literally impale their prey after viciously lunging at them. Their fangs are so big, in fact, that they have special holes in their upper jaw to avoid impaling themselves. Electric Eels Electric eels are actually more closely related to catfish than eels but you probably wouldn't want to get close enough to one to find out. They can grow up to 8 feet long and can produce jolts of electricity from specialized cells called electrocytes arranged down their flanks. These charges can reach up to 600 volts, five times the charge of an average American plug socket, and enough to knock a horse off its feet. While one shock isn't enough to kill a healthy adult human, multiple shocks can cause heart or respiratory failure and it's common for people to be stunned and drowned after an eel attack. Many of the disappearances recorded in the region have been attributed to eels that have stunned their victims and left them to drown in the river. Luckily for our species, the eels, while carnivorous, tend to stick to eating fish, amphibians, birds, and small mammals. They locate their prey by sending out small 10-volt shocks from their electrolyte cells, before stunning or killing them with larger shocks. Paku. One animal certain to be far more terrifying to men than to women, the Paku is a much larger relative of the piranha, known for its distinctive human-like teeth. Unlike most of the creatures on this list, the Paku is actually omnivorous, and a good part of its diet is comprised of fruits and nuts. Unfortunately for some Paku, nuts may not only mean things that drop from trees. Yes, that's right. Paku are alleged to have occasionally bitten off the testicles of male swimmers, with reports of men in Papua New Guinea being killed by Paku, after the fish apparently mistook their genitalia for an easy snack. Nile Crocodile A year-old Nile crocodile attempts to snap up a frog in the St. Lucia estuary in South Africa. Also known as the common crocodile, these large reptiles are distributed across much of Africa and they have earned their reputation as among the most ferocious, deadliest animals on the planet. Male crocs typically measure from 11.5 to 16 feet long, but they have been known to exceed 18 feet in length. Individual crocodiles attack anything the same size or smaller than them. They are occasionally known to hunt in packs, in which they can take down animals as large as hippos and rhinos. Nile crocs occasionally prey on human beings, with estimates ranging from several hundred to several thousand deaths a year. Mata Mata A Mata Mata is a freshwater turtle that inhabits the Amazon and Orinoco basins in South America. The bizarre turtles are entirely aquatic, although they prefer shallow, stagnant water, where they can easily reach their head out of water to breathe. The Mata Mata can grow quite large, up to 33 pounds. They feed on invertebrates and fish and aren't dangerous to people, despite their appearance. Giant Freshwater Stingray As National Geographic previously reported, 
Freshwater stingrays are known to inhabit rivers in Southeast Asia and Northern Australia, where they can reach enormous proportions, measuring up to 16 and a half feet long and up to 1,320 pounds. However, very little is known about these creatures, including how many are left and if they ever enter saltwater. Freshwater stingrays are hard to see because they often bury themselves in river sediments. They hunt for clams and crabs by detecting their electric impulses. There are reports of the big animals overturning boats, though they rarely attack people. Thanks for watching. Join our channel. Watch more.